Maverick, you kind of battled yourself um, in, back into position. You were three over to start the day, got it to even. You reached the um, the par four eighth there, knocked it to about a foot or two. Take me through that second shot and like what club you used, how, how many yards you had left. Yeah, I had a 146 yards, a little downwind. It's just a pitching wedge. Uh, it was a perfect number, and I was trying to take it two two yards right of it, about five feet right of the hole, and pulled it about four feet and was about a foot away. And But I knew I needed to get one on the last two, but. I um, just knew that if I hit to my spot, it, good things would happen and made the putt. How do you feel that sense of knowing that you probably need one more? Are you scoreboard watching or are you just kind of have an overall feel of what the field is doing? Uh, I definitely knew where I stood. I knew um, I knew on the front nine today that I was going to have to shoot four. It's just the way the scores were shaking out. And um, But you know, number one priority for me, again, was just avoid the bogeys. I made as many birdies as I did yesterday, just seven less bogeys. Mm -hmm. and, um, so that, that was the key for me today. And uh, I played really smart and clean. and. You know, bogey free is always a good thing. There on nine, uh, what you had left after your birdie putt, seemed like you were kind of grinding on that a little bit. Is this because you didn't want to take it for granted, or was it kind of a tricky putt? Uh, no, I just, it was a three footer, a little left to right. But what I was uh, watching there most was just uh, my my heart rate, arousal level. Obviously, the three footer to make the cut, uh, mm -hmm. a little more nervous than usual. So I just took a little extra time to slow my breathing down, slow my pace down, and um, get myself in, in my optimal arousal state so that I could make a good stroke at it. Final thing is you kind of continue your ascent up the money list. Mm -hmm. Making cuts like this is key, but obviously you have to make a move on Saturday. Do you feel like your game is kind of tuned into this course now to possibly do that? I, I think so. I mean, it, you know, the money list and, you know, position on the leaderboard and all that stuff is, is fun to look at. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to hitting good golf shots. And um, my focus for tonight is just what do I need to do to prepare for an early morning tee time tomorrow. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think the way my game is right now, I'm in a really good position to play well tomorrow. So that's uh, just going to probably go clean up a few things with my hitting and putting and get some rest and a good dinner tonight.